All right, everybody, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be going over 120 volt and 240 volt. We're gonna be going over exactly how much more efficient one is than the other. I'm also gonna be answering some questions that I've been getting, how much it costs to run one of these rigs that I have. Uh, and I'm actually gonna answer how much it is uh, to run it on 120 volt and 240 volt. So if that sounds interesting, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Here at Crypto Insight Mining, we try to do videos every other day. Uh, now doing videos Monday, Wednesdays, and I'm going to try to drop one on Friday. So make sure you hit that bell notification so you know every time I post a video. So let's get right into it. As you can see behind me, I have the meters. This is the 120 volt meter. We're going to plug it into this rig down here. As you can see, I the test subject, uh, it's the same rig here as it is right here. They both have three 3090s and a 3060 Ti. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to get this rig plugged into this meter and then I'm going to get this rig over here which is the 240 volt rig plugged into the 240 volt meter and I'm going to record the numbers once it's up and running completely and then we'll go up into the office and we'll crunch them. We'll see exactly which one is more efficient and then we'll see exactly how much it costs per day to run them. So Give me one minute here, I'm gonna pause the camera, I'm gonna get it all set up on the tripod, and then I will probably time lapse me plugging in and getting these rigs up and running, and then when I hit record again, we will look at the numbers they're putting out. So just give me one minute and I'll get us over there. All right, everybody, so we are back. Now, let's take a look over here. We're gonna do the 120 volt first, then we'll jump over the 240 volt. So as you can see, I got these four cards running. These numbers obviously are going to include a full rig. It will have the screen, it'll have the CPU, the motherboard, it'll have everything. So currently from the wall right now, I'm pulling 1,333 watts. It was jumping around a second ago, but I think it's stable. We've been running, you can see the timer on it, clicking uh, almost about 10 and a half minutes. Now we're gonna be about 11 minutes here in a second. Um, so that's not bad, let's jump over to amps. I mean, uh, volts, we're about 127 volts. We'll use that to calculate it. We're using about 9.7 amps, so not bad. Watts, about 1333 still, so not bad for a 120 volt rig. Now let's jump on over here. This is the, well, I would like to say first before somebody says something in the comment section, it's real quiet in here right now because I actually turned off all of my rigs because it was really, really loud. And even with the new uh, speaker system that I have, it was not picking up what I was saying. So always committed to making the best video for you guys and time is money. So I'm gonna try and make this video as quick as possible. Let's get over here to the 240 volt. As you can see, currently using 243 volts. 
and then we're using 4.86, 4.87 amps. And we will use those numbers to calculate exactly how much um, more efficient this one is than the 120 volt, and we're also going to use it to figure out uh, how much I'm paying to run each of these rigs. When I get up to my office here in a second, I will crunch the numbers for a basic 11 cents per kilowatt hour electric bill, and then I will do, I get a special rate at about seven and a half cents. So we will crunch both numbers for both rigs and we'll see where we're at. So hold on one second and we'll get up into the office. All right, everybody, so we are back here in the office. Uh, I broke out the whiteboard. I figured it would be a little bit easier to see all the data uh, visually instead of me just explaining it to you. Uh, obviously, this is not my handwriting. Had my wife fill that out, so thank you to her. Uh, let's get into this, though. Let's, let's see what we figured out here. So at 120 volt, that's where we'll start. We are pulling 9.7 amps, and that was at 127 volts, and that is 1,333 watts and I used the most common electricity rate which is about 11 cents per kilowatt hour here in Pennsylvania and I also used my electricity rate now I've explained this in some other videos that I've made I get a special electricity rate and it is at about seven and a half cents but over the next month or two I it is expected to go up closer to around eight cents which isn't bad when you compare it to the 11 cents or higher that people are going to be paying in the next couple months so if you crunch the numbers with my electricity rate, it comes out to around $2.39 a day running a four card rig on 120 volt. Now, in case you're wondering how I came up with those numbers, all I did was is I took the 1,333 watts and I multiplied that by 24 hours in a day. Now, if you're looking to not run the rig for a full 24 hours and you wanna know how much it's gonna cost, you can plug in however many hours a day you're gonna run it in here and it will multiply out the same way. So uh, 24 hours is what I run my rigs at, which equals 31,992. If you take 31,992 and you divide that by 1,000, it comes to 31.99. Then if you take 31.99 and you multiply that by your kilowatt hour, which uh, kilowatt rate, which mine is uh, seven and a half cents, comes out to $2.39. Now, if you come over here to 11 cents a kilowatt hour and you do the exact same math, it comes out to $3.51. So as you can see, just getting a good deal on electricity gives me a, a really nice advantage over my neighbor if they were to start mining. So moving over here to 240 volt, we're gonna see if 240 volt is a lot more efficient and exactly how much more efficient it is. So as you can see earlier in this video, these are the numbers that we were pulling. We were pulling 4.87 amps at 243 volts. And if you do the math on that, which all you gotta do to figure out how many watts, all you gotta do is multiply 4.87 times 243, and it'll give you 1,183 watts. So if you take my electricity rate of seven and a half cents, it comes out to $2.12 a day. And then if you do it at 11 cents, it comes out to $3.12 a day. So once again, even on 240 volt, it is an entire dollar difference between the two, uh, which over the course of a month, I know that's, that's $30, but that's $30 per rig. And I'm currently running 10 rigs, so it's $300. That's, that's a really nice chunk. If you go down here, you'll see your savings is about 20 set are about 27 cents per day from the 120 volt to the 240 volt at seven and a half cents. And it's about 39 cents a day at the 11 cents uh, 120 versus the uh, 11 cents at 240. And just in case anybody was wondering, if you do the math on all this, it comes out to be that 240 volt is about 11 percent more efficient than 120 volt. So. I guess a short way to sum up this entire video is 240 volt is way more efficient than 120 volt by 11%. And if you're a miner like I am and you're doing this as a business like I am, you need to try and cut as much cost as you can. And I, I don't, I don't want to say pinch pennies, but it all affects your bottom line. You want everything to be the most efficient it possibly can. You want to run gold and platinum power supplies. You want to try and save every possible watt you can. I know this is this kind of ranting in this video, but me and my wife constantly, if it's rain, or if it's warm or this or that we're constantly turning the fans up or turning them down or we're opening the shed or we're closing the shed all those uh, little things that we do to try and save and be a little bit more efficient equals to a small uh, bit of watts here and there and then it takes away from our bottom line so um, anything you can do to save a couple watts always uh, 
definitely helps out. So I think I'm going to wrap up this video there. I hope I was able to teach any of you something. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know down below. My wife and I, like always, will do our best to answer them. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Stay safe. Peace.